Hello, I'm Sean Maffitt, and what a fantastic year 2012 has been. British air show season, in all its sumptuous variety, has been part of the splendour of a unique Jubilee year. Planes TV has been everywhere on your behalf to catch the essence of the shows that you went to and the ones you missed. See, we do aviation in its purest form. You'll get lots of the actual sound of the event and not much music. You can even choose to switch me off if you want, so that my commentator colleagues and I won't distract you from getting the authentic atmosphere of each occasion. One of the highlights of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee was the sight of those dramatic mass formations over Windsor Castle. We've got them, and we've also got several other Jubilee celebrations at different shows. We had some team debut in 2012, amongst them Cartouche Doré from France and Alfre Sun from the UAE. And the Black Eagles from South Korea with their homegrown T-50 trainers put on outstanding performances at the Royal International Air Tattoo, as well as doing solo displays at Farnborough. Farnborough also boasted a very rare event, a Boeing flying display by the new 787 Dreamliner. Of course, we've got modern military action throughout with the RAF Typhoon back on the show circuit. And this year, the US Osprey tilt rotor and the French Air Force Rafale, amongst others. The historic aircraft scene was alive and well, with classic flights, new Meteor T7s starring at a lot of shows, and we fly in the T7 with Dan Griffith. We also joined Kermit Weeks in the cockpit of the Albatross D-5A, displaying with that other recently imported First World War reproduction, the Royal Aircraft Factory RE-8. Disc 2 gives you feature-length onboard minicam sequences, and throughout each routine, you can use your player's angle controls to switch between those in-cockpit views and the view from the ground. Here's some of the action. <laughs> 